Hey family, how's it going? I hope everybody is doing well. Happy holidays to all of you. Um, I'm here to share with you how I make my baked mozzarella um, parmesan eggplant. I bake it twice. I bake it um, in the oven by itself, then I bake it together when I'm putting it together. Um, with all the cheese and the sauce so let me get um started and show you what i already did for you it's some parts of um this process that i feel like was self-explanatory so i didn't really have to go ahead and show you uh, most people have done eggplant before but the ones of you who haven't i will go step by step and explain so this is the pan that I am going to use and inside of it is the marinara sauce that I am putting on the bottom. We're going to put that to the side and then I'm going to show you the eggplant that I did and what I did to them. So this is my eggplant and what I did was I got um, some eggplants from the 99 cent store. Two came in a pack and I cut them up in these circle quartz sizes right here as you can see some of them I was able to cut in a square in a circle some weren't because you know an eggplant is kind of funny shaped it's big on one side and skinny um, on the other side so um, I wasn't able to um, get all of them in a circle shape I wanted but it doesn't matter it's all going into like a casserole and um, when you eat it you won't even be thinking about the circle shape trust me so anyway what I did was I washed the eggplant I went ahead and I cut it up in um, the quarter shapes and then um, I put salt on um, all the pieces just salt for an hour and I allowed it to sit for the hour once I took it, um, once the hour was up, I went ahead and I washed all my pieces of um, eggplant again. I'm washing off the salt that I put on there, plus drying it with um, tapping it with a um, with a napkin to um, dry it, so it wouldn't be um, wet when I go ahead and put it in my um, my egg wash. So what I had was I took one cup of um flour and i put it in a container this is the container i put it in um i put another um i put three eggs in a container and i went ahead and um beat them together the, the container was just another container like this and i beat those three eggs in the separate container and then in another container i put i use the panku uh breadcrumbs and these are it i used one almost a package of it because i didn't have a whole lot of eggplants if you're using like more than two you probably need to use the whole package you can also use um one cup of breadcrumbs and then one cup of the panku um, I used the two cups of breadcrumb um, panku because that's all I had. I didn't have um, breadcrumbs. But you can either use, you can also use two cups of breadcrumbs if you want to, two cups of panku, or you could just use one of each, which is one cup of breadcrumb and one cup of uh, panku. I hope I'm not confusing you. If I am, I'm going to make sure to write everything down in the inbox so you will have it. Okay. So after that, um, and after I did the wash, I did the flour first, egg, then um, then the panku for each one. I, I dipped them. Dipped it in the flour, the egg, and the panku. And in the flour, I did season my flour. You can season it any way you did. I seasoned it with salt, black pepper, and um, parsley flakes. You can season it any way you can, you want to. You can make it hot. You can use Cajun seasoning, any of that. Also, um, in the panku or breadcrumbs, whatever you use, you can also add like um, garlic powder to it. I did add that in my panku. You don't have to, but it, it really depends on how you like your stuff seasoned. So this is where we are now. So after that, and after I dipped it, I baked um, my eggplant 
in um, in the oven at 400 degrees for 20 minutes um, I flipped them um, after 10 minutes I flipped them on the other side and then I went ahead and I um, baked it there so it was baking for 20 minutes flipped um, after 10 minutes so the other side can be nice and crunchy okay so that's where we are now so I'm going to move this eggplant right here move this one to the side and show you what I have so far so I did mention that I have the um marinara sauce in here I'm using Trader Joe's marinara sauce you can use whatever marinara sauce you want you can even make your own marinara sauce and all I'm going to do is simply put my first batch of eggplant here that's it that's all just as easy as pie And I'm trying to make enough space, not trying to squinch it up because I can make more than one layer. And that's pretty much what we're doing is we're laying it. Now I have some Parmesan cheese. I'm going to put the Parmesan cheese inside of um, the pan. I'm put it on top of my um, eggplants. Okay. Then I'm using shredded mozzarella cheese. You can also use whole mozzarella cheese if you want to. You can also use, um, you can pretty much use any cheese you want to. But if you want the authentic type of eggplant, it's usually mozzarella. And that's what I want. So that's what I am going to use. I need something to open this right quick. Okay. All right. All right. I'm back. And so we're going to put some of this mozzarella cheese on the eggplant, just like I did the Parmesan. Okay. Then we're going to go back, and we're just layering it at this point now, fam. And I'm just showing you how I prep it because I'm not cooking it. Uh, tonight I'm actually making this for someone and I'm um, I promised that I would make it for them um, This is going to be for approximately I think three people So I just wanted to show you how I prep it because the easy part is putting it in the oven and um, After we finish this I'm gonna put it in the oven for um, The same 400 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes You see how I'm layering it. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to taste good. How about that? <laughs> and that's what you want. You want it to taste good. So we're not looking for perfection. We're looking for something that is going to be really, really nice and yummy. And I am using the whole bottle of marinara sauce because I do like um, my Parmesan to be um, really nice and moist and flavorful. And I like to use um, a good amount of the marinara sauce to make it that way. And like I said, this is going to be enough for three people. If you wanted to make more, you probably need to get three or more eggplants to make a little bit more. But this is just enough for these three people that I am making it for. I could have used a smaller foil pan, so that's why I'm trying to kind of fit... Um, some into every cravats to make it look more fuller um, you could have you um, I think this is a 9 times 13 or it may be a little smaller but I could have definitely since I'm only doing it for those 
few people, I could have definitely made it a little smaller. I am going to use some more cheese. And I got two of these um, container of mozzarella cheese thinking that I would probably I would probably need two of them but it looks like one is just going to be fine I'm just going to use the one and finish it out pretty much okay and then let's look use some more marinara sauce Okay. And then I'm going to use some more cheese. I thought I was going to use all of the cheese, but I don't know if I want to use all yet. What I might do is just leave some behind and see if I need some more cheese um, when I'm checking on it. Maybe uh, 10 minutes in. But you do need to let this bake for 20 to 25 minutes and then you check on it and see but as you can see I used all my marinara sauce I think I'm gonna put a little bit of water in this and add that over the mixture and then this is pretty much it you guys that's all you have to do that looks so good so so good and so I am going to put a tin foil over this and I will be baking it tomorrow. I already have something else in the oven that I am cooking and I will be sharing with you um, with um, sharing it with you as well. Excuse me. So this is it, you guys. My baked eggplant parmesan mozzarella. Um, I guess you could say it's a casserole. Um, it's really, really good. The thing that's different about mine is that most of the time when you're frying, you get the eggplant, you fry it on the stove first before you prepare it on here. Instead, I baked mine. And when I, you bake it, it's more much healthier. It's not a lot of oil that is sucking up the eggplant. And that's what a lot of people are trying to kind of move away from. So this is kind of a good alternative, especially if you're doing low carb and keto. So this is my eggplant parmesan mozzarella, um, I guess casserole, like I said. Um, it looks so good, you guys. So, so, so good. Oh so good anyway um i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to ring the bell give it a thumbs up and leave a comment if you make this how do you make it um have you ever tried it baked before and um is this something that you think that your family will like i know it's definitely something that um, my family and friends um, do like and so I do like uh, making it and they do like eating it so I'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching and until then smooches and love bye bye for now